What's up, El Segundo? Tolly Anderson here at Recreation Park for the annual 4th of July event, red, white, and blue. Families are out with their kids of all ages enjoying a variety of events, tons of food to eat, all celebrating Independence Day. We moved here a year ago and we came to this event last year for the first time and it was such a warm welcome to the whole neighborhood because it's just all the fun families, local businesses and just fun events like all these races. It was really, it's really a special event. Starting the day early with tons of fun races for everyone. Some even crawling away while wearing some hardware. It's very exciting, it's very exciting. I was joking that he was gonna win, but he actually won. <laughs> I'm starting to think this event might be a second place event for us because last year my brother and I took second place in the three-legged race, which was also painful. So, you know, hoping to reclaim uh, a first place this year with, with my wife as our, as our partner for a three-legged race. Um, one second place medal is my daughter. She's about to turn three and took second place in the toddler race. And then this is from a dad's race where I took second. We have everything in between for families. We have the three-legged race going on right with kids and their parents, so that's pretty cool as well. This is amazing. Uh, I'm just taking a stroll out here with my, my command staff, my captains, and I can see the energy out here of the small town feel. Uh, and this is exactly why I wanted to come and uh, be the chief of police for the city. Uh, as you know, I've only been here for two and a half, almost three months, and I see the charm of the city. People are very polite, very kind, glad to see the police department here. We are here trying to do the same thing that everybody wants, was, which is to have fun, have a safe community, and make sure everybody enjoys themselves. You know, we love our town. It's just so, so much fun, you know. Um, and all the families that come here, you know, we keep running into people from school, people from drama, neighbors. It's it's a great place, really wholesome. I just literally ran away from the booth because I saw the babies crawling in there. I was like, I have to go look at that. They got, I think, zero to one crawling on the lawn. It was the cutest thing ever. So it's really nice that we get to do this, support our families, and, you know, have such a great 4th of July together. Happy 4th of July. It's about our 10th year, 11th year um, that we've been involved in the uh, 4th of July for the Rec Park. It's an event that I think unites the city. It's one event that's also daytime all the way to nighttime. It's always been something I really enjoyed. I'd like to thank the Parks and Rec Department, uh, Ali Mancini, Ryan Delgado, Sean Green. They're all big contributors for this event. Again, it's easy to get money, but it, I mean, this took weeks, months to prepare and uh, market and you know, have everyone set up for the 4th of July. Just make it a great, great day. Proceeds from many of the local booths stayed right here in the city, giving back to the local youth. Today we are selling our famous castaroni eggs, or the uh, confetti stuffed eggs that the kids absolutely adore. We've been doing it for at least 25 years, and every year there's such a lineup that the, the kids come and love it. We also have a little bake sale going on that we're becoming equally famous for. We get a lot of followers and um, all of the proceeds. We are a philanthropic, so we're an uh, organization. So we raise money to give money. Uh, one of our large uh, donations is scholarships to the two high schools. This year we gave $24,000 in scholarships. We're basically having a photo booth. You can come, get props, get all dressed up, do it with a family, with your friends. And these are cute little strips, you know, so for 10 bucks you get to take two of these home, do different poses. So everybody seems to be having fun. And then we're also selling crowns, some Rice Krispie treats, and everything goes to support the program. We just wanted to spend family time and it's his first 4th of July so we were super excited to see all the eating contests and the baby contests so we're excited for that. You know, I was, it was an honor to be invited back. I thought a few years back when I didn't get the invite to MC the pie contest, maybe I did something wrong, I don't know. Maybe it was because I beat my uh, colleagues, Councilman Nickel and Councilmember Perstuck, that I wasn't invited back. I don't know, but I'm just thankful you guys brought me back. Thank welcome you. back, oh, welcome back. But Drew, you, you took them down. You took them down a couple years ago. Like, I love this club. I'm not as involved as I w was in the past because I'm doing other things, of course, but it's an incredible club that gives back to the community. All the funds that we raise goes back to the community to support children in various capacities, athletics, music, theater, you name it. 
I'm excited for the fireworks because last year I watched the Marina Del Rey show, but this year I'm gonna watch the El Segundo fireworks show and I'm excited to see how that is. It was a successful 4th of July event, but the party isn't over yet. A fireworks show will be available for the community later in the evening. Ooh, see.